This is the new XRP platform designed to help hobbyists, students, and tinkerers get started with robotics. It comes with a line-following sensor and an ultrasonic distance sensor. While these are great for getting started, I want to show something a little more advanced. In the previous video, I showed how to train a custom machine learning model to perform object detection on the Google Coral Dev Board Micro. We can use this energy efficient AI accelerator to give our robot sight. We'll use that vision to perform the task of picking up a basket and delivering it to a target zone. If you're ready to take your robot project to the next level, let's get started. If you head to experientialrobotics.org, you can learn more about the XRP platform. It was designed as a collaboration between SparkFun, DigiKey, WPI, FIRST, and several other major organizations. You can find a plethora of documentation and curriculum to help you get started building and driving the XRP. The Introduction to Robotics page walks you through setting up the XRP and provides several activities for you to complete. The very final project challenges you to use the XRP to pick up bags from the designated spots and deliver them to the zones marked A, B, and C. The course is marked with tape so you can use the line follower to stay on the road and the distance sensor to identify the baskets. While this is a fantastic challenge to help budding roboticists, I'd like to make it mm, a little more difficult. Instead of using line following and distance sensing, let's give the robot some vision. This is my robot course. Notice there's only one basket in this challenge, but there is no tape to mark out a road for the robot to follow. I should be able to put the basket anywhere in this vicinity. The robot needs to be able to identify the basket, drive toward it, pick it up, and then deliver it to the zone marked in blue tape. And I'm gonna do all of this just by identifying objects with a camera. I'll use the Google Coral Dev Board Micro, which can perform object detection fast enough for our robot to make decisions. I 3D printed a custom arm that holds the Google Coral Micro and snaps into the XRP. I'll also add the servo arm next to the Coral Micro as it's easier to judge distances from the front when we go to pick up the basket. Object detection is a computer vision technique used to identify, locate, and classify objects within an image. It gives us the class of the object along with a confidence score. For example, this object detection algorithm believes the red object is the basket, class 1, with 98% certainty, and the blue square is the target zone, or class 2, with 99% certainty. It also gives us what's known as a bounding box, which can be used to find the approximate center of the object in XY coordinates along with the supposed width and height. Note that these dimensions are given in pixels and relative to the size of the image. We could do some fancy math to convert pixels to say centimeters, but sometimes it's just easier to guess and say, when the basket is about here in the image, we should try to pick it up. Note that this is a little off to the left as the servo arm is to the left of the camera. I'll also assume that the basket's handle is perpendicular to the arm. Twisting the basket is a little more involved than what I want to cover here. In my previous video, I showed you how to train an object detection model using TensorFlow to identify where any baskets and targets can be found in an image taken by the camera. I loaded this model onto the Google Coral Microboard so that it could identify the basket and target zone at around 10 frames per second. Each time the Coral Micro takes a picture, it looks for the basket and target zone. If identified, the bounding box information for any objects found is streamed over a serial connection. The pins for the Motor 3 port are not being used for anything, so we connect them to the Coral Micro board. The bounding box data is sent to these pins and received by the Raspberry Pi Pico. Now we can use MicroPython to interpret bounding box data from the serial port and make decisions on what the robot should do. For these decisions, I'll use a simple state machine, which is a mathematical model used to design algorithms. 
Here's the plan in state machine format. When the program starts, it will immediately start looking for the basket by simply turning around in one direction slowly. If we get bounding box information for the basket from the serial port, we'll move from state 0 to state 1, where we start driving towards the basket. If we happen to lose the basket, we'll go back to state 0 to look for it again. Once we line up the basket in a particular part of the frame, the bottom left, we'll perform our pickup routine. Then we'll start looking for the target zone by simply rotating slowly once again. Once the target is found, we'll drive toward it, much like we did for the basket. Again, we'll go back a state if the target no longer shows up in our serial stream of bounding box information. Once the target is lined up in the camera frame, we'll perform a simple routine to drive forward, drop off the basket, and drive backward. After that, we'll perform a little victory dance, because why not? And that's it. It's not the most robust algorithm. For example, what happens if we miss picking up the basket? You could try picking it up again if you see it in the frame, but I'll leave that as a challenge for you to try. Now, let's implement this in code. Make sure the Raspberry Pi Pico is plugged into your computer. Plug in the battery pack and move the switch to on if you want the wheels to turn. Assuming we've connected the Coral Micro's V-Sys pin to a 5 volt pin, the Coral Micro should start its boot up sequence. The orange LED will flash a few times, the top green LED will come on, the white LED will come on next, and the middle LED should start flashing each time a picture is taken by the onboard camera. This tells you that everything is working. If it gets stuck anywhere during the sequence, just cycle power to start the process over again. All of my code and 3D models can be found in my XRP object detection repository. Simply clone or download this repo and unzip it to your computer. Thani is a simple development environment that works well with things like MicroPython. I find it works well enough for what we need to do. Once you've downloaded the repository, head to the XRP object detection directory, go into firmware. There are some tests in here if you'd like to try them. The UART test is particularly useful if you want to see what the raw serial coming from the Coral Micro looks like and then trying to decode that. But I won't get into that. I'm going to go back to the firmware directory. I'm going to go into basket delivery. But before we do that, and run the main program, uh, I need to go into lib, and with the Raspberry Pi Pico connected, to do that, go to the bottom right, click on where it says local Python 3, and make sure it says MicroPython Raspberry Pi Pico. This means it's connected. You might see some stuff here. I'm going to go into the lib directory. I'm going to right click and upload few to the Raspberry Pi Pico, and I'm going to do the same to the XRP lib that comes with this repository. Feel free to use a newer version of XRP lib, I just can't promise it's going to work with my code. So I've pinned this version and it comes with this repository. Once those are uploaded to your Pico, let's go to basket delivery, open main. Feel free to take a look at this. You can see up front where there are some settings. You might need to manipulate these in order to get the robot to do what you intend. For example, picking up the basket and instead of missing it more often. Um, because some of this is guessing. We're trying to guess where the basket appears in the frame and then it executes a routine based on that. You can see where it configures UART. And if we scroll down, you can get to the main, which is here, where it sets up the servos and drive motors. It also connects to the UART above, which then gets us our bounding box data. So in the main loop, each time it gets bounding box data from UART, it attempts to parse it. If it can't parse it, it just skips it and tries it again until it gets good data from the Coral Micro. Current state holds the state of the state machine. So in state zero, we're gonna look for the basket. That's just going to turn the robot around. Oops, wrong one. There it is. It turns the robot around. When it sees it, it stops the motors and goes to state one. In state one, it's going to drive toward the basket. It's gonna get the coordinates of the basket from the bounding box information, and it's gonna do its best to line it up in the horizontal part of the frame. And once that's lined up, it's gonna drive to it. This isn't the most efficient way to do it, but it should be sufficient for lining up the basket to pick it up. 
Once the basket is lined up in the frame, it's going to run this little routine to pick it up. Where it deploys the arm, the robot drives forward some set amount. It lifts the arm, and then it goes to state three where it begins to look for the target that's been marked in tape. That's class two from the bounding boxes. Once it finds it, it's going to drive towards the target. You can see it doing here, much in the same way we do the basket, where it tries to move the robot so that the target appears in the bottom left of the frame. And it's gonna line up the X and then line up the Y. Once it's done that, it says, okay, we're ready to drop off the basket, so it goes to state five. Here, it's going to drive forward some set amount. And it's going to basically do the reverse of picking up the basket where it drops off the basket and then backs away from the drop off zone. And then it's going to retract the arm before doing our victory dance. And when it's done, it's just going to sit there doing nothing. To upload this to the Raspberry Pi Pico, we should right click on it, make sure it's named main.py, upload. Uh, yes, go ahead and overwrite that. And we can look at the Raspberry Pi Pico. It is the same thing. And so sure enough, we can disconnect this. And now when we run the robot on its own without being connected to a computer, it should follow this routine. And now for the moment of truth, we're gonna turn it on and we're gonna let it go through its boot up sequence. Once the Coral Micro is done booting up, it should identify the basket and start moving toward it. If it doesn't see it, it'll just turn endlessly. But it looks like it's picked up the basket and it's gonna drive toward it. Notice that it's trying to line up the X first before moving towards the basket. And it wants to try to get the basket in the bottom left of that frame and it picked it up. It already ran the sequence, that's awesome. So it's gonna look for the target now and it looks like it's found it. And hopefully it's gonna line it up and start moving towards the target. And here it goes, it's found the target, it's gonna to move toward it, it's gonna line it up and then it should do the sequence where it drops it off and score! And now it's gonna do its little victory dance. It works. I hope this helps you take your XRP projects to the next level by adding some machine learning into the mix. Good luck and happy hacking. Thank you.